Hello friends, welcome back to CLGD Pro Tricks and Tricks. In today's video, I'll show you how to make your corridor present in a way that you can directly export and use in the CAD uh, in your plan profile sheet or you can use direct that corridor in your plan profile sheet. Uh, you don't need to add it or hatch again and again. And you can save that style and you can use uh, in your different corridor or you can copy the style and use in another project as well. So let's see how we can do that. Well, by default, Civil 3D has uh, this kind of style uh, where you have uh, everything in the same color, your lines, and there is some vertical lines. So this isn't a presentable way. So how we can edit that? Well, when you select the corridor and go to the corridor properties, and you have here a tab which called codes. Well, if you have a civil 3D template, it gives you by default some of style. Uh, in this video, I'll show you how to create your own style from the scratch. So let's select the basic styles and hit apply. And now go to the copy. And I'll create my style, uh, civil 3D Pro. I'll give the name civil 3D Pro and now see what is in here so here i have a link point and shape but you can see here i have a no course uh, the first thing what we need to have a course and the links so what is the code and links so when you go in your assembly also uh, when you select your assembly and go to assembly properties and you can go to code you can see that assembly is made of points and cores so here I have a link uh, which has a top, pay one, pay two, and base and formations. And uh, here is my footway, which has a top link of uh, top and footway. So these links are uh, need to be used when you uh, format your corridor style. So right now I'll use paste style for my road like over here in length the paste style and in footway the footway styles so how i bring those cores in my basic styles so again i go to edit once i create a new style here you have a tool import cores you can click here you can either select your assembly or you can select your corridor so i'll select my corridor and i hit enter so as you can see here now all the cores and links and points are come here which were not showing previously so in this way you can add extra points and cores because not everything have in the default style you need to add some of later on so in this way you can import it now first thing i need to remove those vertical lines you can see over here so how i do that i go again into edit what you need to do you need to change this basic style so you click fast and you uh, press the shift button and click the last one click here and go to no links so in this way you can do the multiple changes and you can apply okay apply Triple to your corridor and you can show that perpendicular line has gone. Now I need to add some hatches to the road, to my footway and to the earthwork. So let's see, uh, see how we can do that. So I'll go again, corridor properties. I select my, go to course there, select my style, click here, go to the edit and expand the links and as i seen in my uh, sub-assembly, there is a code of pay. So here I go pay, and from here you can add your uh, hatching. So go to the material field, and here, click here, and still 3 by default give you some style to use. What I will do, I create my one from blank. So I choose basic one, I'll code and create copy. I'll give it to road civil 
Brewster, give the name. Go to the display, turn on the safe area fill. And if you want, you can change color. And if you have set up the layer, you can use those layer as well. So right now I didn't set up a layer. What I'll do, I'll change property of here. The benefit of setting up uh, layers is that when you extract, it will go in that layers. So you don't need to add a uh, uh, layer later on. So what I do right now, I'll just change the properties here. I give it to color 9. <coughs> I use take the solids only. And I hit apply, OK. OK. So my pay has now roads will fill. And I hit apply, OK, and apply my corridor so you can see the hatching has come in my road area the same way you can do for your uh, footway and artwork i go to edit again expand here is a daylight which is used for the artwork so i go to here now uh, what i'll do again i'll go to basic or i create by default style so I'll go and the daylight for that I'll select um, and style is there, um, red, yellow, green one, this one. And for footway, I select any of by or you can like, let's create from basic and same way you can copy, turn on the display change the color if you want. Now here you select here and gives you the option the various uh, hatch pattern already in the file. So you can select any of those. I'll select my HP bone. So in this way you can select various hatching pattern and you can apply that, give some angle and select the scale as per your drawing scale. So I'll go with 0, 0 0.5. I'll apply. OK. Okay, I forgot to change the name, so I'll go to edit and change the name footway. Civil Pro and hit OK, OK. And let's rebuild your corridor. So we hit apply, apply and rebuild your corridor. And now you can see that my corridor have a road hatching, footway hatching, and the earthwork hatching. So in this way, you can make your corridor more predictable. Now the best part of it that once you style is created, you can use it for any of your corridor in that file. So I'll select this and go to corridor properties. All I have to do go in course and select my style, Civil 3D Pro, and hit apply, rebuild my corridor. And you can see the style has come. So in this way, you can create your own style. You can save it and you can use as many as corridor for that. And you can save this style and use it in another file as well. So you can build your own company style and your own style, which you can use for the multiple projects.